Welcome to the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church of Orlando's MTP Live Virtual Fellowship. At Mount Pleasant, we are committed to connection. We are grateful to God for your presence. In this session, you will hear a devotional reading and prayer from our deacons, music by members of our Voices of the Next Generation Choir, and an inspirational message from our pastor, Dr. J. Roy Morrison. Stay tuned at the end of this presentation for important news about our MTP Connect programs. Good morning, Mount Pleasant. I'm Deacon Henry. Your scripture will be coming from Psalms 27, verses 1 through 6. Verses 1 through 6. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, and my foe came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The walls shall rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his provision, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above my enemies around about me. Therefore will I offer in the tabernacle of sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Thank you. May we pray. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou would draw thyself from me, Lord, where shall I go? Father God, as once again we come with bowed heads and humble hearts, thanking you, Father, for this day that you have blessed us with. We thank you, Father, for life, health, and strength. Thank you for letting us be in the number one more time. Because, Father God, you've been so good to us. And we can't tell it all, but we just say thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. Father God, we thank you for watching over us, keeping us safe from all harm, hurt, or danger. Lord, you blessed us in a mighty way. And Father God, we're going to keep our eyes focused on you, O Heavenly Father, which all our help comes from. And we just thank you, Father, for how you have blessed us down through the year. We thank you for what you have done and for what you're going to do. We thank you, Father, for 100 years that you have blessed us with, Father, that you have blessed us great Mount Pleasant with. And, Father, God, we pray, Father, that you continue to bless us, guide us, and lead us as we go through the years to come. And, Father God, I pray much for all churches all over the land, Father. Pray, Father, that we come together and get on one of calls, Father, and we'll be about your business more than we were last year. And Father God, we just pray for those that don't know you in the pardon of that sin, Father. We pray that you will lead us and guide us, Father, that we will bring them back to the fold, Father. And we just thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father, for our church and our church family. Lord, you've been good to us. You have brought us from a mighty, mighty long ways. And we realized we had some good days and we had some bad days, but we counted all the joy. Because, Father God, you said that you would be with us and you'd never leave us forsake us. So, Lord God, we lean in and dependent on you. Give us more faith, Father, that we'll be able to do your will. It's not about us, Father, but it's about your will. And we just say thank you, Lord. This we're asking your son Jesus' name. Amen.
Good morning and uh, welcome to MTP Live, the virtual worship experience of the Mount Pleasant Church of Orlando. I'm delighted that you would join me yet again this week as we seek to honor God with our worship and with our praise. This morning, I want to share with you uh, a message that I feel uh, is appropriate for the period and the season in our lives that uh, we live right now. I want to share with you a message entitled, Stay in the House. Stay in the House. Um, it comes from the Old Testament writings that are found in one of the books of the Pentateuch, Exodus chapter number 12. Permit me to read in your hearing a few verses. Uh, I shall begin with verse number 3 of Exodus chapter number 12. It says this, Speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying, On the tenth of this month, every man shall take for himself a lamb, according to the house of his father, a lamb for a household. Verse number seven says, And they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and on the lintel of the houses where they eat it. When you look at verse number 11, it says this, And thus you shall eat it with a belt on your waist, your sandals on your feet, your staff in your hand. So you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night and will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Finally, verse 14 says, So this day shall be to you a memorial, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it as a feast by an everlasting ordinance. Thus is the word of God for the people of God. My beloved, uh, this passage of scripture is most appropriate and applicable uh, in the day and time in which we live. Most notably, uh, we realize that many of our municipalities across the nation, particularly here in Orange County, Florida, uh, have instructed uh, the citizens of this county uh, to stay in the house. Um, we realize that amid the coronavirus, uh, many of our medical doctors, scientists, and even our governmental officials have instructed us for the security and the well-being um, of our human existence that we would use the precautions of staying home in order that we would not continue to spread uh, this deadly virus. As I considered uh, the circumstances in which we're living now, this passage of scripture came to my memory. It came to my memory because God is referencing the children of Israel. I wanted to share with you today uh, three reasons biblically to stay in the house. First of all, I want to share with you what is called the actual reason to stay in the house. In order for me to uh, share with you the actual reason to stay in the house, I need to, to read for you what God says uh, to Moses and to Aaron in Exodus chapter 7, beginning at verse 1, it says, So the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you as God to Pharaoh, and Aaron your brother shall be your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, 
And Aaron, your brother, shall tell Pharaoh to send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart. Multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh will not heed you so that I may lay my hand on Egypt and bring my armies and my people and the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand on Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. Then Moses and Aaron did so just as the Lord commanded them. So they did. And Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 years old when they spoke to Pharaoh. My beloved, the Bible depicts that the actual reason for us uh, to stay in the house is that God seeks to perform miracles. In the verses that I just read, we're mindful that Israel was in captivity in Egypt. And God, according to the scripture, hardens the heart of Pharaoh. Have you ever considered why God hardened his heart? God did it because God wanted to use miracles to demonstrate and uh, to let Pharaoh and Egypt know that there is no God like Israel's God. I suggest to you today that God is doing what God is doing to remind us that there is no God like Jehovah. God is permitting us to actually have to stay in the house so that we can see the miracles of God that will be performed in our lives. Well, not only are we to stay in the house because there is an actual illustration in Scripture, but we are also uh, to stay in the house because there is a metaphorical reason to stay in the house. It's in the text. When we read chapter number 12, we discover that the primary reason God wanted them in the house was because there was protection and covering in the house. When you get uh, to chapter number 12 of this book called uh, Exodus, you will discover something. You will discover that God says unto them, he says, on the first month of the year, on the 10th day of of the month. I want you to get a lamb, a lamb that is one years old. It can be either a lamb or it can be a goat. I want you to keep it until the 14th day. Then I want you to kill it. I want you to take the blood and put the blood on the lintel of the doorpost. He says, I want you to take the remainder of the lamb and I want you to roast it inclusive of the head and the hinder parts. I want you to eat it all up and the portion that you don't eat, he says, the next day I want you to burn it up. Now, interestingly, there's a metaphoric reason for us to stay in the house and I'm excited to share with you what that is. That is that we have the covering, the protection, and the blood of Jesus Christ covering the houses and the lives of believers. Notice in the text what transpires. They take the blood, they put it on the doorpost, and God says to them, listen, I'm going to enact 10 plagues upon the Egyptians, the final plague being the death of the firstborn. He says unto them, take the blood, put the blood on the doorpost. And when I come through Egypt, when I come through to slay not only the firstborn uh, human, but also beast, he says, I will pass over your house. The good news that I want to share with you today is that if we stay in the house, that means stay under the covering of the blood of Jesus Christ, that nothing that happens in this world can harm you. Finally, when I examine this text, I discover that it also has spiritual connotations. These spiritual connotations 
are found not only in this passage, but also in Luke chapter number 22. Now, when you read this passage in Exodus chapter 12, you'll remember that God says unto Israel, you're going to do this as a memorial. And not only will it serve as a memorial to you, but for all of the generations to come. Listen, saints of God, our world has been through all kinds of plagues, through all kinds of diseases. And as we uh, live today, we are living testimonies that God has brought us through. Notice, if you will, God says, let it be a memorial. Well, I'm reminded of what's written in Luke chapter number 22. The Bible says that it was the feast of the Passover. Jesus said to his disciples in the upper room, he says, I'm excited to be able to share in this supper with you. The Bible says that Jesus took his the bread and he break it and he said unto the disciples, this is my body. He says, eat it all. And then the Bible says that he took the wine, he blessed it, he gave it to them, and he said, drink it, drink it all. He went on to tell them, in as often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Well, I suggest to you today, not only should you stay in the house because there is an actual reason, we've got to stay healthy. Not only should you stay in the house because there's a metaphoric reason, the blood of Jesus is there to protect you and cover you. But I suggest that we need to stay in the house because there are spiritual reasons. What is the house? I'm glad you asked. It's not merely the place where you live, but it also represents the body of of Christ. You remember in Genesis chapter number six, there was a fellow named Noah. He built an ark. The Bible says that God told Noah it was going to rain. Noah built the ark for protection. Well, Noah's ark represents the body of Christ. It represents the church. My suggestion to you today, stay in the house. Be protected. Be protected by the blood but by all means, be protected by being a part of the Lord's church. In Luke chapter number 22, Jesus said, this is my body. What is the body? It is the ecclesia, the body of Christ. I don't know about you today, but I'm glad that I have the blood of Jesus covering me. And I'm glad that I'm a part of the body of Christ. I thank God for the opportunity to share with you today. There are those of you that are viewing this broadcast. And as you are under the sound of my voice, whether you be at home, wherever you may be, I need to offer you Jesus. If you've never accepted him as your personal savior, do me a favor. Bow your head right now. Close your eyes. Repeat this prayer after me. Lord, forgive me of my sins. I accept Jesus as my savior. Take my life and make me who you want me to be from this moment forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you're saved. There might be others who are not a part of the fellowship of believers and you need a church home. You need to know that the Mount Pleasant Church of Orlando would be delighted to be your church home. I'd be delighted to be your pastor, so I want to welcome you home to Mount Pleasant. If you're listening to this broadcast and you've made the decision to accept Christ as your Savior or to become united with the Mount Pleasant Church, simply call the church office. Our telephone number, area code 407-841-3658. Our staff will be delighted uh, to take your call. If no one answers, leave a message and I promise that we'll get back to you. Again, I thank God for the opportunity to share with you on today and always remember, stay in the house. Make certain that you stay covered by the blood of Jesus and that you are a part of the body of Christ called the church. Listen, the voice of MTP Live is getting ready to share with you worship opportunities and connection opportunities to stay connected to the Mount Pleasant Church. Would you please give her your attention as she shares with you what's going on at Mount Pleasant. God bless you. 
We appreciate you tuning in to this week's MTP Live virtual worship experience. We pray this service has been a blessing to you. At Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church of Orlando, we are committed to connection. We have several convenient opportunities for you to stay connected all week long. On Sunday mornings, you can tune your radio to WOKB 1680 AM to hear the anointed voices of our music ministry and an inspirational sermon by our pastor, Dr. J. Roy Morrison. The MTP Community Radio Broadcast is every Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. on WOKB 1680. Connect with us in the MTP Prayer Room every Tuesday and Thursday morning from 6 to 6.30 a.m. and Tuesday evenings at 7.30 p.m. Just call 712-775-7031 and enter the access code 448889 when prompted. Spend Wednesdays studying the Word with us with MTP Faith Connect on Facebook Live. Catch us live at 12 noon or watch it later at your convenience. While you're there, don't forget to like the Mount Pleasant Facebook page. MTP Give offers convenient options for those who desire to connect with our church ministry through tithes and offerings. Sign up for PushPay. Simply click the Give button on our website, mountpleasantorlando.org, and follow the instructions. We'll be back next Sunday morning at 10 a.m. with another installment of our MTP Live worship experience. With MTP Live, MTP Prayer Room, MTP Community, MTP Give, and our MTP Faith Connect, we are here for you. Be sure to get updates and notifications by liking our Facebook page, at Worship Exciting, or on our church website, mountpleasantorlando.com. That's M-T-P-L-E-A-S-A-N-T, orlando.com or you can call our church office at any time to learn more. That number is 407-841-3658. Again, we thank you for joining us today. Have a blessed week.